we have lists. We know who we are mailing to, and right now we're in the process of sending out those mailers. Hey, a very important heads up tonight for thousands of Utahns. Your Medicaid benefits may be ending, and it's likely that you're going to get very little notice. It is part of a national review to see if people are still eligible for those benefits that are using them. 2 News' Paul Nelson is asking why and why such short notice. He's live tonight. Paul? Well, Heidi, a lot of people during the height of the national health uh, uh, pandemic at the COVID pandemic, they did not have to have their Medicaid eligibility reviewed every single year. But now that the emergency is over, every Medicaid recipient does have to have it reviewed. And a lot of Utahns are reportedly surprised to learn that their benefits are running out. In Utah, over 500,000 people are enrolled in Medicaid. Utah Health Policy Project Take Care Manager Dale Hershaft says it's a daunting task for the state to reach many of those people by mail. The Department of Workforce Services hasn't had contact with some of these folks in more than three years. He says it takes time for people to gather all the necessary papers to renew Medicaid, and some of their clients aren't getting a lot of warning about their policies expiring. He's calling on the state to be more flexible and give Medicaid recipients more time to use their coverage if they miss the deadline. Mail is just not the best way to try to get a hold of people. Unfortunately uh, for the state, it may be the only information that they have. The Utah Department of Workforce Services sent out letters and emails to Medicaid members in February. Morris Persis with the DWS Eligibility Services says for some customers, a mailing address is the only contact they have. Persis says they're required to give at least 10 days notice before they cut Medicaid benefits, so anyone who gets a notice like that should come to the DWS office as quickly as possible. Possible. To speed up the review process, one is complete the review in its entirety. And if your benefits are being cut, Persis says not all is lost. For these people getting a notification that their benefits are going to be cut and they feel it's too soon, do they have a grace period that they can still use their benefits after they miss the deadline? Even if you are informed that you're losing coverage, you still have time to complete that review, and we will take a look at that review. Uh, if at any point you have lost coverage for Medicaid, you can always reapply. Now, DWS officials say that it's very likely there are Utahns that are still collecting Medicaid that are not really eligible for it anymore. So uh, they do expect that the number of people enrolled in the program is going to go down, but they don't know how much just yet. Reporting live, Paul Nelson, KUTV 2 News.